welcome back to Danelli She Can Made. And today we're gonna to be working on a neck warmer face mask. Um, what you're really gonna love about this is that it'll just slip over your head. It could be a cowl. And it'll also have a little bit of lining inside so that you can keep all the germs away. So what you'll need to get started, I'm gonna be using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. The color of this yarn is called Desert Dust. And you'll also be using some waist yarn, contrasting waist yarn on each end, a size G crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and a needle and thread. And also, like I said, a little bit of cloth, like an old t-shirt. The size is seven by seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my machine and get started. Thanks. Now that my machine is set up, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cast on some waste yarn. And again, you put it under your first black hook and you do every other. You slowly crank every other hook. So you get to the black guy right here. Okay, open up your yarn guy, put in your yarn. Make sure you take a peek around the edge and make sure everything is even. And then you go ahead and I cast on about five rows. And this will give me a good guide to when I'm sewing it together and you'll see when we fit to the end of the project. So again, I'm putting on five rows of waist yarn. And there we go. This is, piece is a little bit long, so I'll just cut it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my the yarn that I'm gonna be using for my project. And now that this one's here, this was the waste yarn, I'm gonna open up my yarn guide. I'm gonna put my main color here on this side. And go ahead and close my yarn guide. I'm gonna put my counter on zero. In the first couple of rows, I like to watch and make sure that none of the stitches pop up when I'm slowly cranking. Now, when you get over here, always like pull this down so it doesn't pop up. And I'm gonna continue on like this for 90 rows. And I will meet you when we get to the end of the 90th row. I'm going on the last row of my 90 rows. Here we go. I'm gonna just tuck my yarn behind the yarn, the needle there. And I'm gonna use waist yarn again for the other end. And it's gonna be about five rows or however many rows I can get out of this little ball of yarn, so very carefully. And again, the waist yarn is used for, um, so that you can see where um, to put the, the two parts together, you'll be able to see the, the stitches. And I think I have a couple more rows left. Let me just cinch this up a little bit here. We have one more row. I'm going to be out of, out of yarn. Here we go. I'll just cut it. Now what I do is, again, I'm going to roll this up. And I keep my hand underneath, kind of like a, I'm holding a, a bowl or a pizza. And I'm going to spin this around slowly as my hand is turning it, because I don't want any of the stitches to unravel. Kind of holding this up. Move this out of the way. Because what will happen is all the stitches will start popping off. Let's see, you can see this. Move this out of the way. There. And I don't want it stressing out any of the stitches because, like I said, 
If it does, it'll start unraveling. Now I'm gonna move my machine and I'll show you what the next step is. I just moved my machine and I'm gonna now very gently show you how this looks with the two ed ends of the waste yarn. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this inside out because we're gonna sew in the lining So let me see where the, this is the end here, and this is where the, this is where the opening is, or this is what I'm gonna use as my guide on about where I'm gonna sew the lining in, and I'll show you why in a little while. So let me just do this, I'm gonna put this, put this here like this, okay? I'm gonna fold this in half to give me an idea where the center is. I'm gonna go and take my piece of cloth, put it on the bottom half, and now I'm just gonna sew in a few stitches. Again, I'm gonna make sure that it works out right. Let's just sew a few stitches so that it doesn't come out. Just making sure I don't want to poke all the way through because I don't want it to show and I want to make sure I'm not going through to the other side so I'm just grabbing a little bit here and this will be nice because you can you'll have a mask on and you also keep your face and your neck warm it looks like a scarf you can just use materials that you have around the house And you don't have to be fancy with your sewing, just because it's on the inside, no one will see. You just sew it up here. And I'm gonna go ahead then, and I'm going to meet you when I get to the other side, when it's sewn in, but you kind of get the idea on what you're doing. So I finished sewing in the lining and what I did is I sewed it along the top and I sewed the two corners so that at least it'll be in front of your face when you're wearing the scarf. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fold this over. And I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find where my openings line up. So these stitches here, I'm gonna find the two stitches here and you don't pull too tight. You don't want anything unraveling. And I'm going to, so where this is coming out, I'm gonna pick up this stitch here and where the red one is coming out, actually the, the beige one is coming out here. I'm gonna pick up my stitch here. Then I'm gonna get my yarn and I'm going to bring in chain one and I'm gonna go to the second loop and pick up the second stitch, yarn over, bring through a loop and you're in essence picking up both stitches and doing a single crochet. Pick up a loop, yarn over and do a single crochet. Pick up the next loop, yarn over and do a single crochet. Yarn over or pick up a stitch, the next one over, pick up a stitch and yarn over. So I'm gonna continue on like this till I get to the other end and then I'll show you how you can add a shell stitch edging to this. So I'll meet you back when I've secured the two pieces together. Now 
Now I've sewn the two pieces together and I'm at the end here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this stitch. This one wants to be a little tricky. Pick this one up. And then pick it up on the other side. And the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a stitch marker here, because I don't want any of my stitches to get lost. I'm gonna start taking out my waist yarn. Now in the white, I think it's the white, yeah, this is gonna easily come off, because this was at the end. This is the part that you don't, you always have to be careful, because you don't want it to unravel, because nothing's really holding it together. And the next one, since this one's in the beginning, this one does get, get caught up. Now you can cut it or you can just undo the first row and then it'll come apart just like the white one did. So the first row is always cinched up because it's, it's knitted in. We're just taking this apart. And you can kind of see where it is if you pull it. Just pull it. And here, and now it's come apart, and that'll just undo it. Just keep pulling, pulling. And we're almost there. Okay. And the other thing I'm gonna do is, just as a little trick, because sometimes it'll be hard for you to know where the, where the lining is. So I'm gonna sew a little button on the inside, so you'll always know that that goes in the front that where the button is, this will go in the front, and this is where the, whoops, where the lining is located. So you'll never have to worry about knowing or trying to look, peek through the, the layers. Just sewing a little button here. It'll be a little cheat guide. And it'll just be on the inside. No one will know it's there but you. And there. So now we know that that's where the, the lining is and we'll know which way to when we're putting on the, the mask slash cowl slash neck warmer. There, so that'll be there. So now we're just gonna put a shell edging just to finish it off. In the shell edging, chain one, do a single crochet, skip two, one, two, do five double crochets, two, three, four, five, skip, one, two, and the second one, do a single crochet. One, two, five double crochets. And again, one, two, do a single crochet. And I'll meet you when I get to the other end. I'm now at the end of doing the shell edge. I'm gonna end with the single crochet and I'm gonna join here. Just gonna take this other string and I'm gonna tie it. And then I'm gonna use my darning needle and just slip these two pieces here in between between my yarn. And the other one. And again, this is, like I said, would be a nice face mask warmer, a, um, just a cowl underneath your jacket, like a turtleneck. Trim these back. 
And I really wanna thank everyone. And there's our button, so we know our lining is on this side. And this is really cute. You can see it when it's scrunched up. And um, I really wanna thank everyone for continuing to support me and watch my videos. I will continue to try to release a new video every Sunday. And um, thanks again. Please like and subscribe. And let me know if you have any ideas for any future videos. Thank you so much.